<laughs> Hello to everybody. Um, thank you very much for the invitation, for the proposal, Ilka, and for the invitation, Juha. Uh, it's always nice to be in Helsinki. And, um, so before I will jump into my presentation, I would uh, like to say a few words um, uh, reflecting to what I heard here today at um, uh, great talks. And uh, one um, reflection is um, to um, what you have, you said that you've been asked um, what light is for, or wh what is light in, in other um, way. Um, you know, um, if we consider that, let's say we are in a dark room and we don't see anything, then um, there is no information. As we have a candle or a source of light, suddenly we see the environment, we see the chair, a table, we see the materials, we have information. And what that means is that light is bringing consciousness. Um, um, that because we see, so we sense, we can sense um, our surroundings. And um, art is the um, human manifestation, creative human manifestation, which is training our uh, senses. I mean, um, music is enhancing uh, musical hearing, right? So visual um, arts uh, are expanding our uh, spectrum of uh, uh, visual samples. Um, in analogy with AI, we are training ourselves which, with as much as uh, what we see. We all create. Uh, a bridge um, a planning engineer will plan bridges. <coughs> a chef will create, uh, will do food um, for us. And what we see that in all, almost all types of creation, there is uh, motivation behind survival motivation or functional motivation. But what we find in art is that. Uh, art is not necessarily related to these motivations, neither functional, neither survival. Thus, if this is true, it means that um, art is, in a way, the most honest way of human creation, which is not related to uh, um, motivations, but it's coming outside, it's coming um, um, out from inside from inside of us. So um, this way, art um, reflects probably the most honest way, or it maps how um, human creativity can uh, manifest itself. I strongly believe that uh, um, light art can bring a kind of consciousness, as we see at uh, light um, festivals and light art festivals, that um, people are really interested. Uh, so we speak about um, a visual language which uh, attracts um, millions of people. Okay, we can say that uh, if bugs are running towards the light, probably uh, light is affecting us uh, uh, in, in that sense, that way as well. But um, I think uh, that kind of consciousness when um, society will understand that uh, Art is so much important, just like sport. We know that if we go to, to do sport, we go to the gym, we'll, be, uh, we'll have a healthy uh, body. But the uh, same applies um, to art consummation, with a beautiful word, word uh, that um, going to museums, going to see um, art exhibitions, is enhancing our perception. So we should go to train ourselves uh, in museums. And when that will happen, that society will understand that art is not something which uh, ah, some people create something, but um, it's, it is um, a very important part of uh, our um, uh, being, of, of um, uh, the way human are. And uh, so before I will speak uh, about um, um, Lam Lam, um, and I will explain um, what are these initials. Um, I would like to set a little bit uh, professional context, um, which means that I will uh, uh, 
um, speak a little bit. So I, I will introduce myself. Um, so I've been st I'm coming from. Um, uh, I did painting. Uh, I studied at the Academy of Arts. Um, I studied history of art. So that helped me to set in a context um, um, what I do. And um, I'm super proud that uh, in 2018, um purchased one of my artworks. It is a 3D mapping uh, work, which entered the permanent um, collection of ZKM, uh, Centrum für Kunst und Media in Karlsruhe. And then the pandemic uh, came, and suddenly I had a lot of time to, um, to uh, do or work on some projects I, I, I was willing to work earlier. And uh, this is how it happened um, to um, initiate uh, ALO. It is an art of light organization. I know you didn't hear about that, but I'm working on, yeah, you did, super. <laughs> art of light organization. Um, and uh, I'm super proud to, to announce that in 2021, I managed to convince um, the Moholy University of Art and design to start a light art course and since then it's running so i invited um, uh, art historians artists scientists perception uh, scientists uh, um, and we have uh, this uh, course running and uh, the the aim is to create um, or to bring to life a light art department uh, which will probably uh, i mean where else, if not at the Mome Moholy University of Art, um, that uh, we consider, or art history of art uh, says that uh, Moholy was uh, the first, or one of the first, to create a light art installation. In 2021, um, um, I was working on, uh, and now we arrive to, to our topic, on creating First of all, it, it, we had a light art manifesto. I don't know how many of you heard about that. Um, few. And um, that was, um, I think, important because we speak here about um, um, entertainment and we speak about um, artistic content. Um, we have to, and it took me time to understand that actually it's our duty, it's duty of the artists because what we see, we, we, we artists, we were waiting for the, the festival organizers, for the curators, but they are in a heavy game with uh, sponsors and city and so on. So at the end of the day, um, we could in a way unite, you know, and artists and curators and just be brave and bring out or do what you really want to do. Don't try to fake um, for any reason to be to have uh, success at public, for example, because then you are faking uh, your way of expression. And fake means uh, it's not true, and uh, not true means it's misleading uh, the audience. So um, art is uh, revealing, art is a revelation, and art should be an elevation as well. Um, of course, uh, there is a canonization going on um, because 98% um, of uh, light-related um, events um, um, are out of the artistic context. What art is, is very much defined um, by the will of the artist who is creating that artwork and uh, the context. And um, um, so both the artist and both the context will shape uh, what we call uh, um, light art. And uh, so just uh, briefly, this is a slideshow uh, with my projects. Um, this was in Australia, this was at in uh, Kasruhe. So I had uh, projects uh, in more than 40 countries. This was in Geneva, previously we have seen uh, Mexico uh, at Philux, where I actually met first time Ilka uh, and Matti. This was in Romania and this was in 2018, I did the projection on the Helsinki Cathedral. Um, this was in Pech, uh, South Hungary, uh, Roma, the uh, Square Colosseum. 
And uh, basically, this was in Oslo at Fjord uh, Festival. So, uh, uh, Melbourne. Leeuwarden. And I'm doing objects as well, so I'm exhibiting in galleries um, and uh, exhibition places. This is a um, stereoscopic uh, 3D object mapping. Uh, these are different, um, um, this is another series of works uh, where I've been using LED. And this is my work, which was, this is a 3D mapping work, um, which uh, was purchased by uh, ZKM. Okay, so that is my professional background, and then um, I will uh, jump into Lam Lam. So Lam is, uh, Lam Lam is, uh, or are the initials of two projects, Light Art Manifesto and Light Art Museum. Okay. So this is the Light Art Manifesto, and um, it was um, so it was a long process. It took um, a few years, and um, um, basically, if you will search the website, you can join uh, the initiative. Um, it is written uh, something we all uh, thought. Uh, it was a debate going on in emails with uh, two, three hundred artists, and um, it was signed. It, it is uh, possible to sign, and it was signed by uh, consecrated um, artists from all around the world. Did we do a big thing? I don't know. Um, the point is that um, festival organizers and curators, so our profession read it. Uh, I have feedback about that. And um, at least the information arrived, and hopefully this will bring just if not a change, but thoughts uh, towards um, a change. Light Art uh, Museum, um, I will start to speak about it, but beforehand um, I would like to mention that coincidentally uh, Lam Lam also means uh, look, look at it or a kind of uh, uh, voila. In Hungarian Lam Lam means voila. So it, it was uh, a perfect match um, uh, and uh, so, um, the, the idea of a uh, Light Art Museum uh, is uh, like a five, six years old uh, idea I was dreaming about. And when the pandemic uh, came, the pandemic came, um, it became very obvious that we artists, we need a place where we can show our artworks and um, uh, on, based on ticketing and sellings. Uh, we can support um, our new artworks uh, and uh, well, the Hungarian light art community is really a strong one um, uh, and uh, we are really, um, uh, for us it's really important the legacy of Moholy, Nicolas Schoeffer who was Miklos Schoeffer and uh, Gerd Kepes, uh, so uh, big names in, in, in the field. Um, and um, the point is that I was spreading the word um, about the idea of creating a light art museum. Um, that word uh, was heard by a few people uh, who later contacted me and we uh, agreed on creating a light art uh, museum. This is a slideshow um, with uh, the preparation process. So this is in the city center, this venue located in the city center of Budapest. Um, um, a market, it was a market uh, which had uh, problems even before uh, the pandemic. Um, but uh, with uh, uh, the pandemic it uh, completely collapsed, so the building stayed empty. And uh, happily due to um, the relation um, the, the co-investors had with the um, city, uh, they managed to get this uh, building uh, for this purpose, um, which is, it was a fantastic combination, so they brought the venue, I uh, did the program, and uh, the concept of the exhibition, I invited the artists, and um, we had uh, 31, in the first exhibition we had 31 uh, artists, 
the first exhibition was focusing on the Hungarian uh, scene, Hungarian light art scene. And um, uh, I managed to bring in partner institutes um, like the Moholy Foundation, the Vasarely Foundation, um, the Kepesh Institute, and uh, um, a, a really good friend of mine, Marton Oros, um, who is a um, um, world or well known um, expert in light art, uh, Kepesh Fellow at MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And uh, he's also the director of the Vasarely Museum in uh, Budapest. Uh, he brought in, the, uh, as a partner, the, the Chicago Bauhaus. The Chicago Bauhaus was founded by Moholy and Kepesh. So this is uh, the venue. These are the artists. Um, the the uh, first exhibition was uh, presenting 100 years uh, of light art. Um, from Moholy to today, so the youngest exhibitor was uh, 26 years uh, young. And uh, we had uh, 2,400 square meters, as I said, uh, to fill up with uh, content. Everything was like in a dream, um, so I, I speak here about a successful story, but with, with really heavy um, insights. And um, uh, I will just briefly uh, speak uh, about that because as I learned um, um, from several places, there will be more and more uh, light art uh, museums uh, in the world. Um, I currently know about uh, three initiatives, so it is really great. And uh, as uh, digital art museums appeared uh, in the 70s, probably we are looking forward uh, more and more light art museums. We know one light art museum um, in Una uh, with really great artists, uh, but they call themselves uh, Center. So it is a light art center. Uh, thus, this project um, is the first light art museum as uh, its name, uh, as the name um, marks. So bringing in the partners um, was uh, part of uh, my relational capital, which I brought into the project. So I've been emailing with Hatula Moholi, daughter of uh, Moholi. She sent her blessings um, on the project, um, as well as Pierre Vasarelli uh, from the Vasarelli Foundation, who visited us uh, two times in Budapest uh, during uh, we built uh, um, the exhibition. Everything was just like in a dream, and uh, this is why I share this uh, information with you to take care in the future. That um, after we built a wonderful exhibition, um, um, well, um, the co-investors who actually I would like to thank to them that they invest money and they we did this project, but they came they came out. Uh, they came up with the marketing which was out of the artistic uh, context. Before I show you the video, uh, I want to highlight that the, 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 the co-investors are uh, party organizers. So for this reason, um, for them in a way, they thought that uh, Light Art Museum is a party place. And uh, unfortunately, so these are the parties they uh, do. It's bath. Uh, it's a wonderful bath, and this is how we went into the Light Art Museum. And um, I can't express in words when. Uh, um, uh, so I, I was definitely trying to to stop uh, because I was the art director as well. So I was initiator. Um, I named the project. Uh, I was the main curator, um, the art director, the co-investor, and uh, co-owner. But um, after such uh, an advertising, uh, of course, I raised uh, my word, uh, which brought uh, really uh, strong uh, conflicts, uh, because um, uh, they were not used to be criticized. 
that's another thing uh, to learn to be to handle uh, criticism and of course I also search within myself uh, the mistakes I did I will speak about those uh, later so as a response to my criticism uh, my art was my artwork was removed uh, so I also had an artwork um, in in this uh, light art museum I created myself a work um, uh, the replica of uh, Umbra Triplicata and um, um, well um, uh, Mr. Peter Weibel who unfortunately passed away he wrote um, beautiful sentences about this work um, I let you to read um, and I just want to, to um, say that it was really hurting me um, uh, the way um, they uh, removed uh, my work. So, you know, I, I know people usually don't like um, other people listening how they complain, but let me please speak out because I was quiet one year. So, and uh, this was how um, my artwork was removed. So we are at the professional conference. I'm sharing you all this information as um, professional uh, experience. And um, um, so I even had even a more hardcore situation when um, I suddenly received an email that the domain uh, which the project is running on, alum.xyz, um, uh, an unknown intruder entered my account. I gave earlier all the passwords and um, um, access because we put, we dropped uh, everything uh, all together what we had. But um, somebody entered my account and uh, transferred, uh, trans registered uh, my domain name. Uh, this is a criminal act. And uh, there is, uh, so after one year of being quiet, uh, this year in October, I did a report abuse at the police. So uh, this, I know, I know so it's not what you expect from success, such a successful story, but, um, but uh, you know, this is life. So this is how it is, and this is how I have to handle it. Um, Meanwhile, um, the, the exhibition itself became a great success. Uh, there were over 200,000 visitors uh, in eight months, which in Budapest is uh, really great. Of course, uh, we can say that it's due to the marketing, but uh, I would uh, say that I would be happy with less visitors, but uh, good marketing simply because um, our partners, the Moholy Foundation, the Vazar Ali Foundation, Kepesh Institute and Chicago Bauhaus, they were waiting to share the news about uh, the birth of Lam. And um, when that video which I showed you uh, came out, and unfortunately that video was running uh, more than half a year at the airport in Budapest. Um, so, um, after, after, uh, so what I try to say is that uh, um, I would have preferred less visitors, but with a good um, marketing, good appearance, because I was uh, planning, or my aim was uh, to make a project with uh, importance in history of art. But um, the coin investors were focusing on TikTok. And, and this was my misperception and my, uh, it was my mistake to not see that in time. So, um, the point um, where I would like to arrive that, yeah, well, the reaction of the artist. So, you know, um, um, the half of the artist stayed in. Uh, half of the first exhibition, half of the artists stayed in, the other ha half uh, stepped out the project as a protest, um, but half stayed in. And um, of course, I, I have to understand um, those um, artists, so they had a reason to do that, and I, I can't condemn, I don't uh, condemn. Um, we live in crisis, in war, and in different uh, issues. 
So, um, but um, anyway, I was uh, a little bit uh, disappointed that um, the, the scene didn't raise a word um, until this day. Um, and yes, you read well. I have never been credited uh, properly, so that's why I came to credit myself. And um, yeah, I was not paid a penny. Uh, um, and yes, so this is now happening. Uh, law suits are uh, ongoing, um, and it will take uh, for me uh, three, four, five years to um, to arrive to a conclusion. I'm really, really um, curious what law says for such a situation because uh, it's unique. Uh, first, when we we try at the court to speak about what is light art. I mean, I like it because it brings in uh, terms uh, into the uh, judici judiciary uh, world, like uh, the law. <laughs> and it's funny when um, uh, experts have to explain what light art is um, at the court. So I'm planning to do a movie, uh, <laughs> I, a documentary about, uh, there are at the moment two uh, court situations uh, going on. The, the crazy thing is that they, they Put, they sued me for defamation, and I will be for this talk as well. But I do, I do say everything what I say yeah. I can prove. So I'm I'm not afraid from this point of view, and I think that we have to stand um, up and we have to, um, uh, you know, be consequent. Uh, a second exhibition uh, started. Uh, so the first close one, it was as, as it was. Um, and um, in a way, uh, the proof that I might have had the right um, with uh, my criticism was that the second exhibition has a good marketing, a good appearance. Uh, I can um, say that uh, the second exhibition is a good one. However, since I was removed, I have no any um, uh, relation. Um, by court, I tried to get back the name, and you know, but it's hardcore because um, um, it will take three, four, five, or even more years, and then I don't know if it makes sense. Um, final conclusion. Um, you know, I analyze uh, in myself the mistakes uh, I did, um, and uh, misperception, and probably not being strong enough at certain points uh, of the planning when it should be. Um, also, a very important detail is that uh, um, one of the co-investors is a friend of more than 20 years. So we didn't have, uh, we had one uh, contract, one agreement, but all the rest was mutual and in email, so it will be very hard to uh, process all that uh, in the court. Um, but uh, if I analyze myself, if I could, I could go back in time and uh, all the, the things would happen the same way, I would do the same. Because um, I, I would, uh, I mean, I was the art director, so it was important to keep uh, the professional. Uh, um, and. Um,
I would like to finish in a positive way is that uh, um, since this project happened, it can serve as a model that it works um, and uh, it can. Uh, so it it it, 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 it it is a success, and um, we have a saying in Hungary that uh, the half of the glass is empty or full. I would say that half of the glass is full. It was a heavy bird, but it's there. So Lime, uh, Light Art Museum uh, born. And uh, uh, I hope they will keep the, the a good level. And uh, I hope the project will come back to me once. <laughs> Thank you, Laszlo. Not exactly a dream story about, about building something new. Thank you.